be on this car? Oh, it means a lot. Uh, I feel that UFC is finally focusing on Mexican crowd, and it's an honor for me being here, being in the main event, uh, fighting another Latin guy coming out of Argentina. So I'm just excited and grateful for the opportunity, you know, guys, being here again, uh, my second consecutive Noche UFC. So I'm just happy and excited about, about the fight. Is there extra pressure on you knowing how big that Dana has been building this card up to be? Is there, you know, you've got to perform to his level if he wants to back. I really don't believe in pressure. I feel that all my hard work leads me to this moment. I've been working with my whole team, my coaches, everything. Like, we are ready for, for this fight. I don't know what to expect in this field, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I'm here to do my job that is fighting. I'm excited about it, and I'm ready to go. You said you don't know what to expect, but have you thought about maybe all of the visuals? Is that going to potentially be a distraction? Have you thought about what you might have to do in the cage yeah. to, to not think of that? You know, I, I don't know what the UFC is going to do because I don't know if you guys have ever been inside the sphere, but yeah. they say that they have like big screens. So I don't know if the UFC might turn that off between the rounds or they're going to let it run through the whole fight. So I'm just, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just going to focus on one thing and it's the guy in front of me and that's what I'm planning to do. So, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. What does, mean, what does it mean to you to go head to head with Canelo, right? You're such a big fan of Canelo, you're probably the same eye as him. Do you think it's like extra pressure at all? I feel that there's room for both. You know, at the end of the day, I came from a boxing background, so I respect the boxing a lot. I feel that the fights are maybe going to be at the same time, so the, at the end of the day, the fans are going to uh, decide which event they are going to they are going to see. For my part, I'm, I'm promised a, a, a show, a, a dog fight. You know, I'm ready. I, I I prepared these whole three months to, to get a knockout in this in this event. So I don't know what to expect from Canelo fight, but at least from UFC, you always can expect fireworks. Uh, you're on the main card again. You just keep getting on it, and it's your first time on the pay per view. Like. What does that mean to you, that the UFC keeps putting you on the main card with the spotlight? I feel that it all leads to, to the performances that I've been having. I've been proving that I'm an upcoming fighter, that I'm young, I'm hungry, I'm always working hard, I'm always trying to get better every fight. Uh, I proved that in Mexico City, I proved it last year here in Vegas, so I feel that this is just another opportunity to prove that I'm a good athlete, that I'm a, a, a top prospect, and you know, who knows, after this fight I might not be any more a prospect, you know? And on paper, your fight with us is just it's a ridiculous fight. Uh, are you expecting it to be a war, or are you, or do you, or are you going after to finish it quick? Yeah, you know, I never thought about what round I'm gonna finish. I'm just ready to finish him. I trained the whole three months with one idea in my head, and he's being the first guy to ever knock out Stevan Rubovics. I respect him as an athlete. I respect him as a fighter. But at the end of the day, it's me against him, and. You know, I'd rather have him crying after the fight than me, you know? So, I, I, I'm expecting a war. I'm expecting the best version of Esteban Rubovic. He's a tough striker, he's a strong dude, but so am I. So, we'll see. And finally for me, I know that you were looking for kind of like a UFC veteran for, your, for this fight. Were you surprised that they gave you such a prospect like yourself? Yeah, I'm, actually that's something that surprised me. It's the second Argentinian, the second consecutive Argentinian that I fought. Uh, I was thinking about, as you say, maybe somebody that already was in the top 15 and then get out of the top 15. But, I mean, probably that's going to be for my next fight. After I win this one, this Saturday 14, I might have a, a, a top 15 veteran. That's what I want, you know, to keep growing into the rankings. Thank you. Okay, well, obviously there's fighters coming from Mexico, fans coming from Mexico and all over the world that see the sphere with, you know, a set of eyes of like, oh, this is a crazy spectacle. But I want to get your point of view. You're, you're Mexican, you train here in Las Vegas. I'm sure you drive by the sphere a couple days a week. So how does that feel from your point of view? You know, to this? I'm excited because, again, it's something new. It's the first time that ever it's a combat sport in the, in the sphere. So I'm excited for the opportunity. It's, it's kind of like fighting home for me right now because I've been living here in Vegas for almost two years. So I'm pretty comfortable here. As you say, sometimes I even I, I can even drive to the sphere, you know? So that makes it even easier for me. Um, I'm, I'm comfortable fighting here and yeah, pretty much. Eh, como lo mencionaba hace un momento, creo que he ido teniendo mejores desempeños, pelea con pelea. Creo que cada pelea que la UFC me está, me está poniendo enfrente es más dura. 
eh, ganando esta pelea el 14 de septiembre, me gustaría pelear con alguien que ya haya estado en el top 15 y haya salido y cerrar el año que entra peleando por un lugar en el top 15. Que no se pierdan mi pelea, como siempre es garantía eh, de, de acción. Estoy listo para buscar una finalización, estoy seguro de que entrené lo suficientemente duro para finalizar Esteban. Lo respeto mucho como atleta, pero esta vez es noche mexicana. You mentioned uh, living here and training here. How did the decision to come here two years ago, I guess, help uh, elevate your, your game? I feel that it changed everything because in Mexico we are still very limited of what we can do MMA wise. You know, we don't have wrestling, we don't have a lot of resources. Moving here was a tough decision because I need to leave my family over there. Actually, for this fight, it's the first time that my mother ever left Mexico. She's coming for the fight, my father too, my brother. So, you know, it's, I always say that the hardest part of being a fighter is, it's not, for me, this is like fun, you know, but leaving all my family in Mexico, my friends, the people that I love, that's a really tough part for me. What helped you stick it out two years now? Clearly it's, a, it's gone well. You know, I feel that the, the, the outcomes of every fight, that's kind of like helped me. You know, at the end of the day, I have a dream, I have a vision. I know that I will be world champ one day. Everybody that surrounds me feels the same way because I'm a very hard worker person and I'm very focused on what I want. So I feel that all that thoughts in my mind keep me going, you know, through the, through the hard parts. How excited is your family to get to come watch you in this uh, oh, spectacular car? I love it, brother. You know, the, the last fight was the first time that my family ever watched me fighting for the UFC and now it's the first time that they ever watch me fighting outside Mexico, you know. Obviously, the Sphere, big event, one of a time. So, all my family is excited. I'm more excited than they to finally see my family after four months here. So, uh, I just feel that 14, September 14 is going to be a, a spectacular night for Mexico and for me as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.